Good afternoon, you guys. Happy February, happy Black History Month, and happy second month of the year. This is gonna be another wine video. And like I just said, happy, you know, Black History Month. You know, February is a time to celebrate the Blacks, you know, and so, <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, I celebrate being black every day. So, I mean, you know, I celebrate me, I celebrate my family. But anyway, you guys, please excuse the residents that I have on my face. Okay, they have packed some clothes, put some furniture, and have made themselves really, really comfortable on my face. So... And it's kind of disturbing to me because I haven't really been breaking out on my face lately. And so to see that is like, I want to scream. But anyway, we're not here for my pimple. We're here because this month, like I said, is Black History Month. And so what I want to try to do this month is, which I want to do all year. Let's just say that I'm going to do it all year, but... I want to try to make a special effort to buy particularly, you know, like items black from black vendors. And so pretty much what I've done is I've gone ahead and I ordered some more wine from Black Cork. And all the wines that I have is from black vendors. I mean, because let's come on now, we got to celebrate right wine is for celebration and so we're gonna be celebrating you know this month and you know like valentine's is coming up so we need wine for valentine's day and so so i'm gonna show you guys what i have brought okay and then i'm gonna uncork them all and then i'm gonna let you know what i think about each one of these wines so i have the bag here all right, so let's go ahead and let me take them out. So the first one I have is a sparkling wine, and it's from Ez Revere. I'm, I know I'm butchering that name, but you guys can see. Okay, and last time I didn't say what um, the wine content was. I mean, the liquor content was as I show them. Well, I did tell you all what the liquor content was, but I don't see the liquor content for this one. And it could be because the words are too small and they're, I can't see them. So, maybe it's down here. Okay, yeah, okay, so this one has 11.5 um, volume of, of alcohol. Okay, and then, I got love drunk because like I said we're gonna be celebrating Valentine's Day as well and so I thought this was so freaking cute and so I got this one here and this is a rose this is the, a rose wine and the alcohol volume on this is 13.1 so whoo okay Moving right along. Okay, so the next one is a uh, Blanc, and this is it here. And I just think the picture is so cool. Truthfully, on the site, I thought this was a white guy because you know my eyes are going bad, but I mean, you know. And this one has a 12% volume of alcohol. 12%. And then I have Longevity. Now, Longevity was another play on Valentine's Day. You know, because when you fall in love, you hope that it's for the long haul. And um, some of us make it and some of us don't. So, it is what it is. So, this is a Cabernet. California and the alcohol volume is a 13.5 
Okay, okay, so let me go ahead and uncork them all and let's find out how these taste. Let's see if this is something that you guys would want to order or pick up. You know, like I said, I got this here from Happy Cork again, which is a black owned liquor store. And so, yeah. So, Happy Cork. Check them out if you're in Brooklyn or Manhattan or Queens or anywhere in the New York, you know. Um, area or check out one of your other local black owned liquor stores because like I said we're celebrating black history month this month you guys so we got to support our local um, black businesses so yeah yeah y'all know who it is y'all know who it is I ain't got to let y'all know nah let's go let's go that money I get it, I get it. Got a house full of cars in the garage. I'm living, ain't none of them rent it. What I do, how I spend it, why you? Okay, so the first one I'm going to try is the twist off. Now I didn't know this was a twist off. I'm not really too fond about twist offs. Uh, I don't know. It just comes off a little cheapy to me. And I'm going to put the prices of each of these wines on the screen, most likely over here. So, yeah. I'll put the name in the description box and I'll put the prices in the description box as well. So, Not too much, just you know, enough, you know, spin it around, act like I know what I'm doing. Okay, so the love drunk, I would say that pretty much this is kind of like equal parts dry, equal parts sweet, if that makes any darn sense. Because it's like you can taste both tastes on each side of your mouth. It's a little weird. Because in the middle, it does have like a little um, aftertaste. And I don't know, it's... Would I buy this again? Hmm. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes that I would buy this again, especially because I love the name. And I just think that, you know, bringing this to like an event or something like that, I just think that this is like, I don't know. It just, it just, it fits. Um, it's like an event wine, so it kind of fits to me, you know, the name at some type of event or whatever. But um, so I'm going to say yes. I'm gonna, um, would this be something that I would drink often? No. I would most likely make some mimosas out of these, out of this particular wine, like I did with the other wines that I purchased. And when I tell you, it was so freaking delicious. And that's going to be my next video. Well, not my next video, but that's going to be a video that I'm going to do. I'm going to mix up different um, juice combinations and make mimosas with these wines. So stay tuned for that one as well. Okay, so love drunk. I mean, it's okay. All right, you guys. So the next one I'm going to try is the... The Wine Connoisseur. No, True Wine Connoisseur is what it's called. I don't think I even raised you guys the name. It's True Wine Connoisseur. Let me let you guys see that. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this one. And that one, let me see how much alcohol that one had in. Because, that buzz was real. Oh, yeah, that's the one with the 13.1. And, yeah, you can... Yeah, you can, I can taste it like on the size of my mouth. It's like watering a little bit and I can taste the alcohol taste like, yeah. All right, but we're going to move on. So again, true wine connection. Let's see what this one tastes like.
I'm not gonna do too much because listen, yeah. This is not the night to be, you know, tipsy. Okay. I'm trying to get the other taste off my tongue, so yeah. Okay, so this one has a t alcohol volume of 12. And um um For some reason, this have like a little it's tart. It's not sweet. But it has like a really citrusy taste for whatever reason. It tastes... Yeah, um, yeah, I think this would be great for, this would be great for, um, what would this be great for? <laughs> what the hell is that damn thing called? I just said it in the beginning of the video. Goodness gracious, you guys. Whew. You guys know what I'm saying. Y'all know what y'all know what I want to say. But it would be good mixed. Cause I can't find that word. So when I think about it, I'll let you all know. But this would be great. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so the next one we're gonna try is the longevity now which one of you guys you guys let me know how long you all have been in your relationship whether it be a partnership a marriage a friendship um, a sex ship a money ship a financial ship however you want to put it um, let me know how long you guys have been in you know, what is the longevity of that relationship? You guys let me know in the comment below because, yeah, none of your business. But anyway, let's go ahead and try this. I guess y'all say it's not an owl business when it comes to you, but you want to be an owl business. Pretty much. Pretty much. All right. Alright, not so much. Don't get greedy. Alright. Let's see. Oof. Good gosh. Goodness. Oh, the smell on that. Woo! You can just smell this and just <laughs> and that's it. All you gotta do is smell this one here. Okay. Again, I'm trying to get the other one off my tongue so that I can get a better taste of this one. So, okay, so let's go ahead and see. Ooh. Ooh. Um, hmm. yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, how much alcohol again? This have it big. It has the alcohol content. <laughs> it has a big thing saying, listen. Right? They're letting you know. Be careful. Because, you know, we ain't responsible. See how that shoulder got to come? Like, we ain't responsible. 
But, um, yeah, this one is kind of, it has a plummy, it has a plummy taste to it. Yeah, it's it's not it's not sweet. Like it's not sweet, but it's not as tart as the Love Drunk, I think. No, as the True Wine Connoisseur. And it's not a mixture like the Love Drunk. But you can taste a small teeny tiny little hint of um a sweetness. Not really a sweetness, but like maybe a bit of fruit. I'm going to say that like a fruit that you know that all oh, could be very juicy, but this one is just not as juicy as it usually is. So but it's not bad at all. Like seriously, like I would definitely pick this one up and put that as a a, a wine that I would grab you know, now, like I said before, the only thing is, is that because, um, that is red and you already know, like your teeth with the coffee and the red wine, you know, it affects your teeth. And so, yeah, but I'm thinking about getting some falsies. That's another video. But anyway, so. Yeah, I quite like this one. I quite like this one. I don't think I would mix this with anything. I quite like this one. All right. All right, you guys. So this one here is the sparkling wine. as a reveal. And so let's go ahead and taste this one. Let me get rid of this. That little drop. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that little sizzle. Yes. Love that little sizzle. Mm-hmm. You want to sizzle some more? Uh, you want to sizzle some more? The smell of it is mm, I don't like the smell of it. To be honest, I don't like the smell of it at all. Mm mm. Mm. That smells really funny. I don't know why it smells funny like that. Is it maybe the other mixtures of wine that I had in here? I should have probably used different glasses. That's what I probably should have done. But anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and taste it. This is bugging me. It's like totally just throwing me off this whole freaking video. It's bugging me. All right, so let's taste it. Ciao. Wow, I did not think this was going to taste this freaking good. Like, this is so goddamn good. Like, it's just the right amount of everything. Like, seriously, like, it's just, oh my God. It's not too sweet. It's not too bitter or tart or anything. It's just like, hmm. Mm. Wow. Even a little sizzle that goes down your throat is like interesting. Mm. Damn. Mm. <coughs> mm. I like that. 
<sighs> All right, you guys. Well, hopefully this video is going to be short and sweet. I just wanted to show you guys again just the wines that I brought. And I brought them because these are all black wine companies. Let's put them down so you all can see. Okay, let's put that back. Okay, so here we go. If you guys want to check out any of these wines, I will say this. I'm going to pick the ones that I really like from one through four, one being the best. So, of course, one, two, three, four. Okay, so those are my, um, that's my rating scale for one to four on these wines. But I will definitely say all of them will work and... What I was trying to say is that this one will work really great with a mimosa and this one will work really great with a mimosa and these two would be just standalone great on their own but you can as well mix those with a mimosa. Okay, so so you guys that is it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this little review. And like I said, you know, if you're going to be celebrating this month and, you know, because it's Black History Month, then really make an initiative to, and this goes for everybody. This is not just for Black people. This is for every type of people who's work, walking the freaking universe let me move this back because that thing is bugging me <laughs> it's bugging me you guys all right all right yeah so just make an effort to support local and small businesses and that's it you guys i'm tipsy or i'm tired i don't know which one it is I could be tipsy and tired right about now, so yeah. But anyway, that's it for my short little video. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I put it up and it makes sense. And what was I saying? I was saying something though. Oh, I was saying, yeah, to support, support the black businesses, like seriously, support, you know, whether it's this, whether it's clothes, whether it's food, you know, just go out and support. That's it. So, excuse me. I love you guys. And I just want to say that seriously you guys just be safe out there you know there's a lot of stuff happening you know and um I know we don't live forever but we want to definitely try to live as long as we can and when we go you know you want to go naturally so do the best that you can in taking care of yourself okay so i love you guys be safe and i pray to see the end of this year with you all later